In this video, we are going to see why a GPU is used in deep learning. We all know that deep learning uses vector operations such as addition, multiplication and so on. Let's see how a computer performs these operations. A core is a computational unit inside a processor which performs calculation. Now, let's see how a core compute value of these two vectors. Suppose if one operation takes one second, then it will take four seconds to complete computation. Now, if your processor having multi-core, then computational time will get divided by number of cores. Suppose, if you have two cores, then both cores work independently to do calculations simultaneously to compute final vector. Now, we already know that neural network is nothing but sequence of vector operations where value of neurons is computed by sum of product of neurons and weights from previous layer. These neurons and weights are nothing but n-dimensional vectors. Now, here are so many values to compute and a single core processor take much time because it will do it sequentially. So what's the solution? What if we have more cores? Here comes GPU which is having too many cores as compared to CPU and is specifically designed for doing parallel computation. Now we use CPU to assign tasks to GPU. For example, suppose if we are having a GPU with 10 cores and a single core CPU and we have to perform these given operations. Remember that each core still requires one second to complete a single operation. Now CPU will assign each task one by one to idle cores of GPU. Hence, GPU is quickly done its job. Similarly, in deep learning, the operation get distributed by CPU and done by GPU. Modern GPUs having thousands of cores which is having capability of bil doing billions of operations per second. Remember, GPU is only good at distributed computation. So the best way to waste your time is to train an image classifier on CPU. Thanks for watching.